Hey, I'm Pat Renfrew Racy, and this is the brand new Compact Prime 40mm 2.5 uh, full frame lens from Sony. It is a very innovative lens, to be sure. Uh, this is one of three uh, new Compact Primes that Sony is making, and they're kind of making these things like, I would say, like Leica lenses from 10 years ago. Um, when you make a prime that's really small and lightweight, uh, you, you just design it specifically for like street photography, landscape. Uh, if you typically go out and shoot with a 600 f4 or 4028 in the woods all the time, or a, you're a sports photographer, this could be a great, you know, normal lens, normal to wide to have in your pocket all the time. Uh, it makes sense. Uh, the 2.5, you know, this is a third of a stop faster than a 2.8 lens, which is really nice. Uh, it'll, it'll contribute to nice bokeh even without carrying a lot of bulk and weight. The lens has nine elements and nine groups, um, but three of those elements are made of aspheric glass. This lens has got a new designed uh, nano coating, uh, which reduces the internal reflection in between elements. And they made a pretty neat little uh, lens shade. This is really slick. Um, I really like the way this works. So the lens shade is this part here. And if you take it off, it's like the lens is right there in front of everything. But when you put it on, uh, it hides the front element really well to the point where I think it makes uh, having a filter on the front of the lens superfluous. Uh, I'm not planning on buying a filter for mine at all. I'm gonna use it just like this and just take advantage of that pure great optic that Sony made for me. You will notice that the lens has a, uh, a focus hold button, which is great. I use this to punch in uh, on the sensor and I can zoom. So when I'm using this on my Alpha 1, uh, it's a 40 mm 2.5, but if I press this button, because I've tasked it to do this in the camera, it becomes a 60 mm 2.5, which is really useful and I still have a 21 megapixel file left over. Another thing that's crazy is that they managed to, in this little tiny package, they managed to cram in two linear autofocus motors. And of course, the focusing is all internal. So it's an internal focus dual uh, linear motor. So this is the same type of uh, design that's in the 428, the new 512, the 135, you know, the very fastest, most recent GM lenses that have come out. Um, this is going to be a really, really fast lens for autofocus, no matter what you're shooting. So action, bring it, bring it on. This lens will focus to uh, just 11 uh, inches uh, from the front element, which is killer. It's going to make it very useful for a lot of things. Uh, and 40 millimeters still kind of wide. It, it's in that sweet spot, which I'm really glad they made a 40. They've sure made enough 50 so far. Uh, so this is good. This lens weighs six ounces. I'm gonna let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> uh, six ounces is nothing, it's great. Um, and that's with the caps on it, I think. So it's even less with the caps off. Um, this lens sells in the United States for $598. Uh, while that is not gonna be for everybody to buy a Compact Prime, for certain people, this is gonna be a godsend. Uh, I know a number of friends of mine that are professional photographers that bought all three of these lenses sight unseen when they came out, and none of them are disappointed. So I really, really like this lens. I'm excited about it. I'm glad that Sony is kind of going more specialty at this point. Um, they have pretty much everything covered now, and now they're going back and they're doing you know really, really neat lenses. Uh, also, I wanna point out that um, one of, uh, one of the, my most favorite things to do is when I is travel. And when I travel, I try to always add a day on the front end or the back end of a trip so I can do street photography. And I got to tell you, I think this combination is going to be phenomenal. This is the A7C with the 40 millimeter uh, 2.5 lens, the G lens attached to it. And I think this is going to be a great way to go out. It doesn't look like much. It looks like an old camera from the 80s or something like that it doesn't look serious but it's very serious indeed um, so uh, last thing i think uh, there's gonna be a lot of people out there that uh, have been shooting video with sony cameras for a long time but they don't own any sony glass uh, lenses like these compact primes are going to be a really good entry level way for some of those people that are shooting canon glass still to actually come all the way home and really understand you know, Sony color, uh, Sony color science, um, and, you know, true sharpness. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's, that's true. Um, and these compact primes are a really good example of Sony really pushing it out. 
I'm really glad they didn't make them G Masters uh, because they'd be a lot more expensive than they are. And I think they're a really good buy, really good value at uh, priced accordingly. So don't just check out the 40. There's also a 24 millimeter and a 50 millimeter as well. Thanks always for watching my channel. If you find this useful, please subscribe. It really helps me to continue to do content like this. Thanks so much and have a great day.